Hi, this is Ed Ridiger, and again, I'm glad you tuned in to hear another one of the devotions I posted online. Now, this one comes from Paul's letter to the Galatians, the third chapter, beginning with the first verse. You foolish Galatians, who has bewitched you? It was before your eyes that Jesus was publicly exhibited as crucified. The only thing I want to learn from you is this. Did you receive the Spirit by doing the works of the law or by believing what you heard? Are you so foolish? Having started with the Spirit, are you now ending with the flesh? Did you experience so much for nothing, if it really was for nothing? Well then, does God supply you with the Spirit and work miracles among you by doing works of the law or by your believing what you heard? And here's a devotion that I entitled, Don't Be Foolish. Paul said that the Galatians were, had become foolish. You see, in the past, he told them about grace. You know, that how it was a wonderful gift given to them by God through the Holy Spirit, something in which a person could trust but never earn. And because they'd accepted this message, Paul reminded those Galatians that they had felt a new sense of peace and hope and even power, something they'd never experienced in the past. Now, that's what had happened when he shared with them the truth of the gospel. But for some reason, they turned from that message of grace. And instead of just claiming this incredible gift that God had given, they started working in new rules and commands which they felt they needed to follow. Of course, I'm not sure. I'm, uh, of course, I'm sure they had reasons for doing it. For example, since it involved the future, maybe they felt that they needed something more concrete than just trust. Or maybe they thought that incorporating obedience into their faith would give them more control. Or maybe their decision was motivated by something else. We just don't know. But for Paul, the reason was not relevant. You see, it didn't matter why they did what they did. For him, they were turning from the truth to follow a lie and abandoning the Holy Spirit for the sake of the flesh. And because of that, they were being foolish. And you know, as modern Christians continue to construct their own systems to determine salvation and apply those rules and laws to themselves and to others, I think we need to hear these same words of Paul and make the decision that we're not going to be foolish either. Amen. I'm so glad you listened to this little devotion. I hope you found it helpful. And until I talk with you again, I want you to remember, you are a child of God, and God loves you very much. Goodbye.